And yeah, I, we're here to talk about a bunch of shit. I don't really remember all the topics, but yeah. Did you let's see that? Conversa- let's just call this a conversation video, and we'll see where it takes us. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, well, there's this new Superman pick. Uh, link will will be below, right? Yeah, but uh, I see the thing is with that, it's banned. This is actually a banned picture that I found and saved. They actually are banning this like all over websites, so you can't even find it now. Why is Warner so Brothers banned it or something? Yeah, because it was like they wanted to use it later. I don't know why. It just they don't want the picture up. They don't want people seeing it. But I okay, it looks, it looks great. Yeah. Um, I don't particularly like the picture. To me, it looks fake. I, I can't. No, it is real. It's real. Okay. I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Looking at this, if you hadn't told me it was real, I would think it was fake. It doesn't look real to me. Um, I, I don't know what you probably would, didn't like it though. Not necessarily. I don't like it. It just looks fake. Um, I'm just like, saying. Do you think that like, looks like Superman to you though? Like, does it look? Like, does it look like it's going to be a good Superman? Well, let me uh, l- let me bring this to it to a topic that I did want to bring up, but I'll bring this into it. Is that I've been talking? And I, I was talking to I, I was talking to um, I was talking yesterday, um, and um, about uh, Batman and the next Batman and um, Wesley Snipes. Or the Denzel Washington came up. Your, oh yeah, uh, he's the person I want. Yeah. He's the person I would pick, probably to be Batman. Cause like, and, I don't know, like he just looks like the character to me. Like he looks yeah. like he play like a perfect Bruce Wayne. And people say that he doesn't look like him and, and stuff like that. And the point of it is, is that we'll forget about that if he went on if he went on film. First of all, that's not who I want to play. Batman, I'll get to that in a minute. Him, um, or, him or Carl Urban is like... Yeah, time. Carl Urban, definitely, man. He's got the um, voice. But uh, essentially, uh, essentially, looks looks aren't as important as representing the character, being the character. Um, I really think that he could pull it off as Bruce Denzel. Like, he's just a great actor. Okay. Um, now, who I want to play him is Jason Momoa, which you would ask me for that one. Well, he's not, he's not a good actor. That's he's the guy that plays Cold Have it? you seen Game of Thrones? Do not say he's not a good actor until you go see Game of Thrones. I've seen him in a few movies, and from what I saw, he's terrible. Okay, guess what? You can be an amazing actor and just have lousy scripts. Um, but his line delivery was terrible. He was in Bullet to the Head. Chris, you saw that, right? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, like it's a, okay. But do you like that guy? The guy that, like, the... You know what I'm talking about, him. Yeah, the the guy that played Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. Yeah, you like him? No, not really. Was he good okay. in the movie? Not really. Yeah, James. I've never seen it. Game of Thrones. That is the best thing he's been in, and everybody who's seen Game of Thrones says he's a good actor. Everybody, because he's amazing in that. Game of Thrones he doesn't has have the look. That. I'll give you that. He has the look. He can fill the suit. Don't get me wrong, he'd have really big shoes to fill too, because Christian Bale, I don't know, like, he could probably pull it off. Maybe. Okay. I'm not saying I'm he's saying- a horrible actor, I'm not, maybe one, maybe he could shock me, I'm not, I, maybe he can, then yeah. But he just looks more like a villain type. The problem with the, the problem with him is, is I've only known him playing barbarian-like characters, everything that I've ever seen him in, I've not seen Bullet to the Head. Um, he's playing, he played a barbarian-like character. Um, the two big things he's played in is Stargate Atlantis and Game of Thrones. That's where we actually get to see him act. And, um, unfortunately, he doesn't really get to do much acting. Uh, he doesn't get to do much variety in those. Mm -hmm. Um, but let me put it this way, okay? Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have to fake the Batman voice. That's his natural voice. You're right. You're right, though. He does sound like him. He's got the look. He's got, he's got that threatening look to him, though. Like he looks like he could fuck you up if he was Batman. Yes. And the other thing that somebody brought up is that uh, as of late, Batman's been been represented as, uh, uh, by not tall people, and Batman's six two in the comics. True. This guy is six five. Yeah, he's a little. He looks like more Batman. like the. You know what the problem is? I think I can't. Like he kind of looks like the wrestler type. 
Yeah. You know, like he doesn't he doesn't look like an actor. He looks like he belongs in a fucking ring killing somebody. Yeah, UFC. Yeah. But the point is, don't you kind of want your Batman to look like that? Yeah. You're right. Don't you? I mean, I mean, like, City of Scars pretty much proved that that we need a fucking serious badass Batman because in that he's bad. I mean, Christian Bale's badass, but there's more sympathetic than you know what I mean. Like you care about him. He's a badass. He can fight. But he's not like a, I don't know, it's hard to explain. He's just not yeah. like that badass, gray-suited Batman I want to see. I also want to see The World's Greatest Detective. Yeah. On film. Um, I was actually chatting with somebody on Facebook earlier, and he was like, we don't know if he's the world's greatest detective. <laughs> and, I mean, <laughs> the point is, is that's not his Well, character. he was a detective in Dark Knight. Because he was doing good with, like, um, you know, the finding out um, his fingerprints, Joker's fingerprints, where he was. Like, he did some things in in the yeah, trilogy. I want him to do things. Like, I basically want the cops to be completely stumped for good reason. And then Batman go, like, okay, here's what you need. Yeah, basically, like, yeah. In it, to be in the character from the beginning. Um... You can't even argue that, like, he wasn't really much of a detective in Batman Begins. No, you're right. There was some, but not much. I mean, like, there were some detective things, but but I want this guy to be the great, the world's greatest detective. Yeah. And I don't think that, that that he was. Also, I want the world to be supernatural, and I want this world to be filled with superheroes. Um. So this, want, not necessarily want, like, put them in it. Like, like, you want maybe, like, maybe fucking Superman to help Batman at one point? No, no, no. I just want this... I, I want it to you be... You want it to be acknowledged that it is a supernatural world. Yes, yes. Like, you could have, like... You could... Uh, basically, a really, really interesting idea how you do a line is that you have people sitting around a table, kind of like you did in um, The Dark Knight, and they're talking, and they're like, yeah, Batman's not like that guy from the Metropolis. Now, he's a real hero. Yeah. That, that, would you like that scene? <laughs> yeah. Where they're talking and they're like, he's a real hero, he doesn't wear a mask. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, like, they could um, have, like, like, remember in the episode of the Batman when they had, um, Superman show up? And, like, they were talking shit about Batman, Lois Lane, and Jimmy Olsen. He's like, oh, Batman, he wears a mask, you don't need to hide. It's <laughs> sort of like that, I could picture that in fucking a live-action movie. Like yeah, Jimmy Olsen would be there, or like you don't necessarily need them in the movie. These characters, just um, just like if you don't have a silly uh, line, like somebody brought up the line from uh, the movie that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is why bat. Uh, this is why Superman works alone. <laughs> you know, fuck that movie. It doesn't exist, okay? It does not exist. I just made up that line. You know what, though? You know what, though? All right, I'll be honest with you. I could actually watch that movie and laugh at it. Like, I, I'm not... Like, if I just shut up and, like, start drooling and act like an idiot, if, like, if I'm watching a Michael Bay movie, I'll do the same thing. So if I'm just not thinking about it, I shut my brain off, it's fun. It's stupid, but it's fun. It's like the, it's like the 60s show. Like, you just gotta watch it and accept it, you know? Sure, it's a fucking commercial that only made mo m the movie to make money and fucking toys and all this bullshit, but it's still stupid, but it's fun. I could watch it and have fun watching it. Yeah. Well, I don't want to have to have my like mind... I could, that... Like, I could fucking... I'll probably drink or whatever and enjoy it more, probably. <laughs> I don't drink. I do. I actually do drink. Don't, don't think I'm, like, an alien that doesn't drink, uh, but I... <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what about this picture though? Like, you don't like it? Like, do you think it looks like Superman? Yes, I think he looks like an interpretation of Superman. I would like to know how high, uh, how tall he is, because I know that Superman's like six four, six five. My brother said that he's not that tall, so, and he he knows everything about this movie. Even though he hates the movie, he thinks the actor is stupid because he's from a different country, which is fucking retarded. Did he hate Batman Begins? No. 
because wasn't the entire production from a different country? Yeah. <laughs> can you name a non-British person in that movie? No, I'm joking. You it's can. It's true. It's true, probably. I can't think um, of one. No, no, I can think of one. Um, oh, crap. Why can't I think of his name? Well, Ray, um, Rachel Dawes, really. Katie Holmes. No, I was... I, no, I was gonna think of uh, the black guy. Why well, can't I? Morgan think. Freeman. Yes, he's an American. But, but if you think about it, um, Batman, um, Christian Bale, Christopher Nolan, um, and Russell Gould. Why can't I think of his name? Um, Liam Neeson. Yeah, yeah, Liam Neeson. I don't know. It's just stupid. Like that's a dumb ass complaint. That's really stupid to like. Well, it's not a dumbass complaint if they cannot do an American accent. Yeah, but he, I mean, I haven't seen his work. I heard that his movie, The Cold Light of Day or whatever, was horrible. If that's what it's called, I don't really remember. But yeah, I heard that movie was horrible, and I'm not watching it. I just want to have the mindset that he's Superman, not some other character. Maybe in the future I'll watch a different movie with him, but... See, that's the problem with Superman actors. You can't take them seriously after they play Superman. Like, Brandon Ralph, I can't even watch his movies. Like, he's trying, but I can't... I can't... What did he make, like... What was it called? I don't even know. Same thing with Christopher Reeve. But he I... He was, um... Brandon Ralph was in a TV show called Chuck. Uh-huh. And that showed that he could fucking act. Like, that showed that that was not his fault of Superman. Like... Um, after... You know what else, though? You know what else, though? Like, Tom Welling, he's a good actor. He's a good actor other than Superman. Like, I could take him... Like, if he wanted to play a different character, like Goku, like, he would be perfect for me. I don't know what you guys think, but he would be perfect for Goku. Like, I could Oops. picture him being a different super... Tom Welling. See, my problem with Tom Welling in Smallville... His first problem is he's not viable as a 14-year-old. Yes, he was a 14-year-old in season one. Jamie, um, he's the guy that plays in Smallville, by the way. Oh, the, oh, okay. Yeah, he, okay. Could, play, he could play Goku, man. Dude, just pick The second him. problem with him, as, the second problem with him, as it is that he never was Clark Kent. He was always Superman in that TV show. No, no. He had a few scenes in fucking the last few episodes when he actually looked like the, you know, S Superman 80, no, Superman 78 movie. Like, he looked like Clark, the dorky Clark. Like, he had a few scenes when he was playing the dorky Clark. Like, that was cool. Yeah, and that was not viable. In I, that bought world, I bought it. Okay, no, in that world, okay, well, let, let me explain this, why it doesn't work, okay? He just looks perfect, that's the thing, like, I don't know. So, the thing about it is, is Clark Kent um, has always never wore glasses. All of a sudden, he starts in to wear glasses. In Metropolis, he's playing a fake person, like, he's playing, like, I like that Smallville made it like he's playing... Like, like, I, like Lois taught him to be someone else. Like, I like that. Yeah, the problem with that, the problem with that is that it's too, uh, too late. You should, like, they should have done that when they first came in. It oh, by the way, you. Goku doesn't give a shit about what I'm about to say because he told me that he doesn't care on Facebook. But they're actually playing homage to Christopher Reeve in The Man of Steel. There's a video on YouTube. I'll, I'll link it or whatever. Just look it up. <laughs> Christopher Reeve cameo or whatever. Just look it up on YouTube. Yeah, they have. That's gonna be cool. Like they're they're playing homage to Christopher Reeve. Like they got a guy. Well, oh, I said I don't. I, I said I don't care because it's not that big of information. It doesn't. It's it's a cameo. First of all, is and, and I'll put this on record right now. Mm -hmm. Hollywood, stop fucking announcing your cameos. I don't want to know what they are. No, it that's an idea. It, it was fucking yeah, cameo. Yeah, but it wasn't their fault though. Like it was a spy cam that caught it. You know, okay. filming and then they caught it. I guess it's, like you said, it's not a big deal. Like, that's why they didn't like, keep it under wraps, because you don't think it's a big deal. But to me, it's just awesome doing that. Like, just so the point is that it is a bigger deal now, because now you're going to go into the movie and you're going to be expecting it. <laughs> and if it isn't what you like it to be, you're going to be upset. The point is, is that if you didn't know what was coming and it, and it was okay, you'd be like, oh, cool, that was interesting. Um... I mean, it was like the, I had no idea. Like I was not expecting to have Scarecrow and Rises. Like that was really cool to see 
him in the movie. Like, that was really... You were not expecting Scarecrow and Ryzen. I mean, yeah, I, he was in Dark Knight, but I, I really didn't expect to see him for some reason. I was... Okay, let me put it this way. Um, I don't know if this poster was a, was officially part of a Dark Knight, but, uh, but a movie theater I, I live near, the Henry Ford Museum. It's not actually a movie theater, it's a museum that happens to have a movie theater, but it's like, it, it's weird. Like, they had Titanic there for like four fucking months. Uh -huh. Not kidding. Titanic in 3D, four fucking months. Um, and they had this poster that had Scarecrow on it. Um, and I don't know if it was real or fake or whatever, but... <laughs> It's the only place I saw it. Like, every character you could ever imagine was on this poster. Yeah, I don't know if that was official when they added the other characters. I think it was just the main four, and then other people made it, you know, to... I don't know, but your movie theater probably thought it was real. Who knows? Well, the point is, is it doesn't matter. It was, it was posted on their website advertising it. But I don't think they would post something on their website if it was fake. Yeah, they had another one, like, they had Joker, like, in his, um... Like they had Joker in his, like, prison outfit in the poster, too, and he's not even mentioned in the movie, so... Mm. Yes, which was... Which oh, wow. Was but, yeah. Battle of the okay. Gods. Dragon Let's Ball. get up with the story. Oh, so boy. Battle of the Gods. Oh, uh, Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods. I really don't know much about it. I haven't been looking it up, so... It's gonna be okay. cool. You, uh, I've, I've got a lot of uh, information on this one. Like, do you want to know the synopsis of the story, pretty much? Sure. Yeah, go okay. for it, Here's a go. There was a old fish who was talking to um, the, the Bills, God of Destruction, and he's telling them how there's going to be a strong warrior who's going to come and give them a great challenge. So, Bills goes into this hibernation thing, and he goes to sleep for, like, like 36 years. Uh, and then when he wakes up, uh, this fish tells him that uh, a, a Saiyan defeated uh, the, the galaxy ruler known as Frieza. And so he sets out to find Goku. And then he finds Goku, and he beats Goku. Um, he supposedly is able to beat Super Saiyan 3 Goku with j just by using his finger alone. Uh, <laughs> Damn. And then he uh, he wants some more challenge, so he goes to Earth, and then he proceeds to beat the crap out of Vegeta, Android 18, uh, Gohan, Majin Buu. Like, there's even a scene where he takes Super Saiyan Gohan and Majin Buu and just slams their heads together like it's nothing. <laughs> and both of these people can, like, destroy galaxies. Um, so, and yes, I guess they're going to have to do some crazy-ass fusion... Yeah, a lot of people are, are guessing uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta. I hope that's not the route they take, because that's pretty predictable. But it would be cool. It was Maybe I'm Gogeta hoping, Super... Go ahead. I'm hoping for Goku Gohan fusion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about that ages ago. Oh, that'd be interesting. Um, that would look like what Goku. It would like... just look like Goku, though. Like, no, just Goku. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, yeah, what he, I mean, I mean, I guess they could like change his hair a little bit. Like, he's I think the hair would be a little. I, I I think the hair would be like like a little bit taller than Gohan's, but a little bit shorter than Goku's. <laughs> Imagine if they make him like a bit of mohawk or some shit. Oh god. <laughs> the point is, does it matter? Or wouldn't you just be happy they fused and go? I want to hear that voice. Like, that'd be cool to see what voice actor would play that. You know, like, I don't know. Maybe it would have the. Gogeta voice, you know, with just like the, the voices together, who knows. Mm. It's going to be an IMAX in Japan, you know. It's been confirmed. Does it help me much? It ain't in theaters here. <laughs> That's a shame. I hope it does get dubbed, though. It's it's probably likely to get dubbed. I mean, it seems like they're so. this thing. Seriously? It seems like, like it looks like a... Yeah, you're right. It looks like a big thing. Like, it looks like that. Yeah, they'll make a dub. It'll be stupid. Jamie, did you say that 20th Century Fox is behind it? Uh, yeah. Uh, 20th Century Fox is, is producing it. Um, uh, but there's word that, uh, 
Fox may hire, like, if it does get a dub, Fox may end up hiring a new English cast. Oh, fuck that. And, and, uh, it is still possible that they still have the actors from Dragon Ball Evolution on contract for another movie. So, it oh, could be possible. Oh, God, please, it don't even could tell be me possible that. Don't even, don't even tell me that. Voice acting. <laughs> I don't like don't the idea of more than you do, but... It couldn't possibly. Well, hey, 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 you want to tell you the good news is? What? When it bombs in the U.S. a few years later, Funimation will probably buy it for cheap <laughs> and re-dub it. <laughs> oh, that was, that meant, wasn't there, like, other voice actors before the Funimation dub? Oh, oh the, the, the ocean, ocean dub? Yeah. Yeah, that, that shit is horrible. Dub. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate um, it. Actually, uh, let, let's talk about dubbing here for a minute. We, we were talking about dubbing. Um, have you guys ever heard of One Piece, the anime? Mm, yes. Yeah, I never saw it, though. Yeah, they're going to do okay. a crossover with Dragon Ball Z. It was originally... Yes, yes, it is. Um, it was original and, uh, and, and, an, and another anime that I cannot pronounce the thing. Tor- um, yes. Um, it was originally dubbed by Funimation. Now, does anybody here know how great Funimation is? What? One oh, not Funimation, sorry, sorry, 4Kids. Yeah. Does anybody here know how great 4Kids is at dubbing? Um, they're, they're they're editing, I'm not a fan of... Their editing's crap, man. But they didn't I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of fucking Kai, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like the voice... I like, I don't... Like, alright. Like, I like it because it's Dragon Ball Z. Like, that's just Dragon Ball Z. Well, I'm a fan. They, but, they didn't dub... They did not dub Kai. Yeah, Funimation. Kai is a... Funimation no, I know that, but I don't like how they change the voices. I don't like how the music is different. Bruce Faulkner's music is fucking epic. You cannot replace that music. I'm sorry. That's okay. not, it's not Dragon Ball without that music for me. Okay, what I'm talking about is four, uh, our four kids is infinitely famous for fucking up dubbing. Um, they use bad actors. They, um... They edit shit that they don't need to. Like one good example is in One Piece. There's this guy that has a uh, that has a sword that the um, that like the middle part of the sword um, in between the handle and the blade is longer. I know that has a name, but but it's like long and it looks like a cross. So they made it short. Um, another good example is they're in a restaurant and they're having and 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 they're. And uh, they're drinking. They're drinking vintage grape juice. <laughs> it's these ridiculous things that we know what they are, but you don't want kids to see them, so you get rid of them. Yeah. It's ridiculous. See, like I don't know. I just hope that this is actually fun, like a funny, uh, fun, Funimation dub. Like that's what we need, cause yeah. fucking Christopher Savage is Vegeta. Nobody else could be him. So, okay, I will watch the. Uh, I will watch. Oh the yeah, stuff. I'll watch it. I'll probably I'll watch the Japanese version, but it's not the same. Like I hate. Hi me, hi me. Yeah, like, he sounds like a, like a girl, man. Yeah. yeah, he sounds like a little kid. Like what the hell is this? <laughs> Uh, it's it's a part of Japanese culture. Like whenever they, um, in a lot of Japanese animes, if they cast the younger version of the character, it's a part of Japanese culture to keep the same voice actor for when he gets older. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just doesn't st- like for me. I guess it's just because I've been watching it. You know, with the epic badass voices, the badass music. If I go back and watch it that way, it's just weird. Uh huh. Well, the idea is that you're used to what you're used to, and um, I get into debates all the time when people tell me that uh, that that subs are better than dubs. Um, I prefer dubs because I just want to sit down, watch my show, and um, be able to enjoy it. Now, I was watching uh, I-, I was watching Street Fighter Two uh, V recently. Um, weird title. Um, and, yeah, the dubbing wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. It wasn't unwatchable. I never wanted to turn it off because of the dubbing. Yeah. I re- Yeah, I watch... I watch... I only watch a few animes, like Elfin Lead and Dragon Ball Z and 
Yeah. That's it. So I really don't know much about like that stuff. But like, if I try to watch a dub Japanese version in Eng uh, a Japanese movie in English, it's fucking laughable. I can't even take the movie seriously. Like yeah. a real life movie with American oh. actors dubbing over Japanese people. Yeah. Like, I can't. I can't. Oh, I watch dub in everything. I, I I like dub because I just like to sit down and enjoy. The I can't thing. watch I a movie like that though. It's just I, feel I like get, put it in okay. sync. What? It just feels like it needs to be put in sync. Yeah, like, have you guys well, seen the live-action Death Note movie dub? Oh, it's, pre it's pretty bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's not great, but it's watchable. So is Dragon Ball Evolution, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that actually has a good story, the Death Note movie, so... I can't even make it through Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Let, let let me say this: the uh, the dubs that aren't in sync, that's because they don't know how what the, what the hell they're doing. If you know what you're doing, your dub will be in sync. Because I've seen plenty of dubs that are perfectly in sync. Of live action movies? Oh, but if you watch yeah. those Godzilla movies, you got a problem. No, I have seen them. I have seen them. Higher budget things that they do translate over. Oh, like, I saw a movie a while ago, this horror movie called High Tension. Like, it was a dub, like, Engl it was in, like, another language. It was an American, not an American, but it wasn't, like, Japanese people or, like, you know, different... It was white people, but just with a different accent or whatever. But they had, like, a dub over it, and it was synced. Like, it looked like they were actually saying it, but they weren't. And the voices fit. Yeah. So maybe they have movies that are like that for Japanese people. No, no, they do. The thing about it is, is it's the uh, a lot of the dubs that you get are um, are are low um, are low budget. Like a lot of things you're referring to are made for TV Japanese movies. Yeah, they don't freaking care. Um, the high budget stuff that does get translated over to America, and I'm not saying Japanese. I'm just saying the high budget stuff. Um, it's got better dubs. Yeah. yeah. First of all, is if it's released in theaters in dub, it's most likely going to have a professionally dubbed movie that will that, that will be sync. Yeah. I can't think of any examples, but they do exist. Um, I don't know, but yeah, Battle of the Gods seems really cool. Oh yeah, definitely. I I, I really hope that. Like, how, you know how they're doing the IMAX release thing in Japan? Yeah. I'm hoping that, even though it, probably, it won't be a dub, I'm really hoping that they'll do an international um, IMAX release. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, I take it none of you guys are fans of Pokemon here. Oh, um, Pokemon. I've seen it. I've seen it a few times. It's just, I don't know. I can't get into well, it. Well, talking about the games. Ho hopefully, the hopefully they make a movie. I like the game Good. more. Yeah, it's never going to happen. Then I can get into it, though. Huh? Well, they have made movies. Go watch them. No, I mean, like, live-action movies. Like, I don't know. Well, I just like can't... They... Like, for some reason, Dragon Ball... Like, I don't relate to it because I don't have superpowers, but there's something about Dragon Ball that just feels like a show that interests me. Like, it, it's, it's, like, up there with the animated series or, like, you know, for Batman or just, like... I don't know. It, it, it's just like a real cartoon. Like, I don't feel like Japanese cartoons are, like, the best. Like, I just like Dragon Ball Z, really. Okay. Um, but, but but I was getting to a point here. Um, the next Pokemon game, um, X and Y, is going to be released simultaneously around the world in one month. Yeah. Mm. Which is probably going to start being a trend. I might get it. Yeah, plus, uh, with, with that, with, like, dis distribution and stuff like that, it's a lot easier to release things around the world all at once, especially when it's a single company like Nintendo or Toei Animation. Because all they really do is just, like, if they wanted to send the movie over, they just sent, like, send a copy of the film prints over and would stream it through, through IMAX. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, the point is, is if you do this initially, like, if you do this while the thing is being made... Um, you can actually um, you can actually have both teams working together and get it done quicker. Um, an another good example of this, I don't know if you know this. Um, have any of you guys played Final Fantasy Thirteen? 
Um, no. Yeah. I played the other zone. Okay. Well, Final Fantasy thirteen, if you know, was dubbed in English. Not a big surprise. All the Final Fantasy games have been um, that, that that have live speaking, but they didn't just dub it. They actually changed the lips to be lip sync in English. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Not kidding with you. They went there and they changed all the animation to be lip sync in England. Now talk about high quality. The game wasn't great, but talk about high quality. Can you think of a higher quality than that? Yeah, there are a lot of uh, games that are produced in Japan. Um, like Resident Evil 5, for instance. When that game was made, it had no Japanese dub when it came out in Japan. It was like all English Japanese subs. Oh, it was? Yeah. Like, uh, there are a lot of games in Japan where they just, no Japanese, like, even though it's made in Japan, there's just no Japanese dub. They just do the English dub and uh, Japanese subs. And that's probably because, like, a game like Resident Evil is based on American characters, so they felt that that's the natural way it should be. Like, uh, for instance, I don't want to ever play a Japanese Metal Gear Solid game. Why? Because I most I mean in Japanese language because I'm afraid the characters wouldn't sound like they're supposed to and what I mean they don't sound like what they're supposed to is I mean they would probably get some little squeaky voice character voice out of today <laughs> like Goku and Goku and all that <laughs> you ever I mean, try you ever try you ever try watching a movie like like a horror movie or like any movie in another language. It's just fucking ridiculous. Oh, no. <laughs> like they got they got Jigsaw like I want to play a game, <laughs> <laughs> but it's in another language. I <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> you you watch dubs of of the Saw movie? You want to play a game? Just, <laughs> just to fuck around, yeah. Like what does it sound like this way or French? Oh, but they love it still, but no, they were still though. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I think that, I, I actually see a future coming that people say I'm crazy. Mm. Um, I see live actors being a thing of the past in the future. Yo, that's um, stupid. That is stupid. I'm sorry. No, it's actually not. I don't want to see fucking stop motion movies for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. I want to see. Okay. Okay. Characters. See, the thing about it is, is you're looking at what you know now, and what you've seen poorly done, and you're thinking that's what I'm talking about, and that's not what I'm talking about. Technology is growing to it to an extent to where if you can do things for cheaper using CG animation that looks just that that your that your eyes cannot tell a difference, why wouldn't you do that? Let me ask you something. If they made a if they made a CG movie, one hundred percent CG, okay? But you could not tell the difference. Would you care? It would put a lot of people out at work. <laughs> and of course, you, you can almost always tell the difference when it comes to CGI, or at it's least not going to get that good. They can't yeah. get that good. You can't yes, get you can. Time. It takes time, but you're getting very close. And the point is, we're going to get to a point, and you're saying, oh, they're going to put these people out of a job. No, they're not. Because guess what? Okay? Who's working on these films? Nobody? They're going to have a new set of people. The thing about this is, is that you're saying they're putting people out of work. No, they're bringing in new jobs, different jobs. Um, and the point is, is that in the future, um, things are going to be different into the fact that they can probably make things cheaper um, and do things like, okay, let, let, let me blow your mind here, okay? If my reality <laughs> is true, mm -hmm. live action movies that you want to see would happen a lot quicker because you wouldn't have a budget to worry about. Everything is in freaking CG anyways, and the point is once you get to the point where everything is in freaking CG, it's cheap enough to do CG so you can do it more effectively. And then you can have Dragon Ball Z look how it should look. You can have Goku look how he should look. And that, that would be cool, though, to have a CGI Dragon Ball Z movie. That would be badass. Like that opening for Tenkiachi, the game. Oh, yeah. That would be fucking insane. Yeah. 
I want to watch that intro now. <laughs> you are seeing, you're imagining what you've seen every other time. And the point is, is that we're getting to a point where what you know of CG isn't going to be CG anymore. Um, I, I, I really it, don't think that they'll make every single movie CG in the future. I really don't think okay. that. Because why would you want to see that? Nothing you're seeing is real. It's all computer generated. And yeah, no, I know. And again, you're looking at your lifespan. You're looking at it today, now. Um, no, I'm not. I'm looking, I'm looking at it in the future. C CGI, even nowadays, is highly disregarded. Most people prefer okay. practical effects. Hard okay, yeah, I'm one of them. Let me ask you something, okay? If you grew up and all you knew was CG, every time you go to the movie you see CG, um, or, or let me put this way, okay? Let me put in this factor. Um, do you know people who don't like to go see black and white movies? Yes. I'm not okay. one of them. I don't like to go see black and white movies. I, love I grew up in black and white color. Movies. What? I love watching black. I, 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 then again, I'm, I'm, I like old vintage things. I yeah, love okay. watching those people. Like every, that's fine. That's every fine. furniture, every, make every piece of furniture that I have is probably been like old looking. Like I like old looking shit. Yeah. Like I don't like all this, the shit this I have is old, not old looking. Huh? Every, every every piece of furniture I own is old, but it's not old looking. <laughs> yeah, but I like that though. It looks. I don't know. It's. I don't know. Like you. I don't know. Apartments now. Like especially if you watch like those shows on fucking HGTV, it all looks the same. Like, I don't want to see that. Like, I, I don't like yeah. that shit. But, I mean, well, the, 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 the thing, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that, the point is, is that um, you have a generation that that watches things in color, and it, it, it's hard for them to see black and white. And, and this is not my opinion. This actually is fruitful. Um, because, I, like, for me, I grew up with color. We all grew up with color here. I think so. I, th I think I'm the oldest. Well, I here. did, yeah, but... Uh, um, uh, so the point is, is that if you interject that to CG, and you have a generation that grows up knowing CG as commonplace, they're not going to disregard it because that's what they're going to know. Well, th there's a lot of CG commonplace nowadays. I and, and again, I really do not think that they're going to completely get rid of real actors and just maintain CG in everything because that would take okay. away almost everything that makes a movie a good movie because you've got the perfect actors. What makes it good is, is yeah, action. agreed. Yeah. Okay, then I'm then every Pixar movie fucking sucks. Oh wait, no, they no. don't. When did I when did I say CG, all CGI animated movies suck just because they're not? No, no, dude, I, I see what he's saying no, here no, though. No, Mark, no, Mark, no, Mark, no, Mark, no, Mark, no, Mark, no, no, Mark. No, 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 no. Yo, Mark. Yes. I see what he. I see what he's saying, though. Like I. No, I, I see what he's saying. He just made a statement that is that is fallible, and I would like to correct him. You just said having taking away live actors takes away what the movie is, and then I just said Pixar. Pixar can do it. Can make films that are just as good, if not better, than live action films. So those are CGI animated films. Do you want every single movie to be CGI animated? There are two different ki there are a bunch of different kinds of movies. There are cartoons, there okay. are CGI animated films, and there are live action films. Do you okay. want every and single movie genre to be CGI animated? Because I feel because I feel like if you can't feel the emotion from like a Denzel Washington movie, like if you see him in that movie, he's a fucking amazing actor. Like you feel his character, like a Christian Bale, you feel him in those films. Like, if you have a CGI actor, you can't feel that emotion. It's okay, not a real all, person. Can, first of all, as you can, because there's this thing called mocap. Second thing is, is that you're interjecting what you know today. And you're expecting that to be the future, and it's not going to be. The point is, is that as technology gets better, these things are going to be used more, and they're going to figure ways how to do everything you want them to in this. The point is, is that we're at a renaissance where CG is becoming commonplace. Yes. And the point is, is that when it becomes cheaper to use, see, the thing is, is that CG is so, somewhat expensive. But eventually, we'll get to a point where it's cheaper. Um, and, and, then, and then people will start rioting and refuse to go to the movies anymore, causing Hollywood to crash and burn. 
Uh, no, they're what not. the future is, though, what I think the future is going to be, though, and this is kind of upsetting to me, because, like, I think movie theaters are a thing of the past, to be honest with you, because, they are. like, look at your TVs now. you got fucking TVs that are almost better than going to the movies. you got HD, you got surround sound, you got all this shit that you don't have to go to the movies anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's still the experience. Like, I grew up going to the movies, so it's nostalgia, but... In the future, a lot of people are, oh, I don't feel like going. It's going to be lazy. People just watch it at home. Like, that's going to suck. Because look at fucking video stores now. There's no more. Like, Blockbuster down the street is going out of business. That's the last one around here. That fucking sucks. Like, I miss going to the video store, picking a movie, looking at it, and deciding by my own if that's going to be a good movie or not. I don't want to go online and be like, oh, IMDb. Like, I miss that. Like, I miss that. But the point I'm trying to make is that you have to think about what the future will hold. Um, What's going to happen in 50 years? See, remember, you're saying people are going to riot because you're thinking those are the same people that exist today. What is going to happen in 50 years? What is? Because I don't know. You don't know. Okay, you don't know. And what I'm doing is I'm analyzing it and and I'm giving my analysis. I could be wrong, but I'm saying I see this going that way. And the point is that you have to separate yourself from it. And you have to say, okay, will people who grow up with CG, who see movies in CG all the time, will those people mind it? Once we actually... Well, once you have to, it would have to be very far in the future because people nowadays are going to show their children movies that they grew up with. Yeah. And those children are going to show their children the movies that they grew up with, which is what their father grew up with, and so on and so forth. Yes, so you, I don't think take, I don't it, think generations will stop what generations like, you know, like exactly. the, you know, but the passing it, it on. Yeah, is the point is, is that as, no, no, but you're making a good point. Generations will show what the, what they watched as a kid, and then the next generation will show what what they watched as their kid. And guess what? As those generations keep growing and growing and growing, eventually, um, it's all gonna blend, it's all gonna blend together. It's all gonna be. It's going to be like, um, like for instance, the movie. Here's an example. If I like, if I have a kid, I'm not gonna show them fucking a shitty remake of a horror film. I'm gonna show them the original. That's what the real one is. You know what I mean? Like that's how you keep. And them alive. they're probably gonna hate that movie, and I'll explain why. Not if they so grow up. What, with it. See, the point is, is that if they grew up with that one. Uh, see, the point is, you would have to show them all those horror films. See, the point is, is that the reason why they remake, uh, the reason why they do remakes is to essentially make it cater towards your audience. Um, for instance, um, and this is not a remake per se, yeah it is, but, but for instance, um, Star Trek. You can never make Star Trek The Motion Picture again. You could never take that film and take that story, um, it would never work. You could if you made it completely CG. No, you couldn't. <laughs> Did I say that? That's the argument you were making a couple of minutes ago. No, the argument I was making is that CG is eventually going is eventually going to be more effective to do what you need to do, and ultimately, yes, it's going to transcend everything. But that, but that's so, a little way. So wait, if if CG is eventually going to be so good, you won't be able to know the difference between live actors and CG. What would be the difference between them remaking the Star Trek the motion picture and the original if the CG looks just as the real just as good as the real actors did? Okay, because the because yet yet again you don't realize why you could never remake Star Trek. You could never remake Star Trek because it's a very slow movie. The pace of the movie is something that is that you would never captivate an audience today. You would be surprised to get an audience that would see that movie because the movie is very slow. The movie has the movie has a pace to today that could never, ever be popular. It's, it's, it's what, it, what was accepted as a summer blockbuster in the 70s and 80s is con- would be considered artsy today. Um, that movie So Star Wars is, is considered artsy? Star Trek. I said Star Trek. You said movies from the 80s and 90s, and so I said, well, Star Wars... I said 70s and 80s. 70s and 80s, whatever. So Star Wars should be considered, uh, it'd be considered artsy. It wouldn't be considered an entertaining movie. 
There are tons no, of I'm, great movies from the 70s and 80s that I know people today love and still enjoy to this day. No, no, I understand that, but the point is, is that, okay, see, you're arguing this from a viewpoint that you, um, see, the point is, is that you could never take a film, a lot of those films you're thinking of, put them in a theater today, they wouldn't do well. That's because, wrong. That is wrong. I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. They, they re- go, they re- if you... If you put the fucking crow back in theaters without doing a shit, okay, piece that's of a shit 90s remake. movie. That's a '90s movie um, or late '80s. That doesn't count. I'm talking about. I'm talking about a completely different brand of movie. I'm talking about movies that you didn't grow up with, and if you did, they were films that you grew up with because your parents showed them to you. I'm talking about early '80s. Um, I am talking about the original Superman. That's an example of a film that just doesn't work, and that's why I disagree. I, I can prove that to you because go see how well Superman Returns did. They tried to remake that film, and it didn't do well. No, it that's didn't do well because the story was crap, and it wasn't even yeah. a Superman movie. It was a, it was a love story. It was, they were trying to do a it romance was, thing. It was still a good movie, man. Come on. <laughs> you don't you don't hate it you don't hate it that much it's okay it's okay <laughs> what i what i'm saying is that it is that trying to take what worked for the original film didn't work now we're seeing the new superman well, that's not film. what they did for superman returns though that's not what they did for superman returns for okay superman then returns, you're watching that movie because they took all the freaking plot lines from that original movie and they took that into the and they and they did that in that movie it didn't. Where, where was the thought in Superman? No, 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 no. What he means is Superman, Superman not 1. Superman. Yeah, Superman 1, Lex Luthor, he wanted land. In Superman Returns, he wanted land. Superman was a fucking, you know, they, they met together with Lois. Oh. In Superman 1, they met together. It was like, you know what I mean? They remade scenes. They made you feel, you know, you know, fucking nostalgia for the old franchise. They thought that's what everybody wanted to see. That's diehard Superman fans, but not new fans. New fans don't want to see the same thing. That's what he's saying. And I agree with that because look at Man of Steel now. They completely changed it, and that's great, and I can't wait. Yeah, and it's actually going to be an action book this time. Yeah, and hopefully if he gets success, hopefully I have another... um, The movie cost $270 million to make. And it made basically four hundred million, which in uh, which um, which in box office lingo means it didn't. It most likely didn't actually make money because the advertisement probably ate up what it did actually make. Superman Returns is a good movie for fans of a Super Reeve, Super Superman Christopher Reeve film. If you like that, I understand yeah. that, but that that is a good example of why you do, of why they shouldn't have done what they did. Because the point is, is that audiences wanted something different. Yeah. Audiences, there was a different audience and a different viewpoint. Let me the just say, let me just say this though. When I first saw this movie, I had no complaints. It was the people, other people that told me about their complaints that I started agreeing with. But when I first saw it, I was like a little fucking baby. Like, I loved it. Like, it was just awesome. I saw it like fucking five times. Like, it's Superman to me. And and that's fine. But that's the point I'm trying to make. Is that there are films that when you try to, uh, uh, that essentially they just don't captivate the audience. Now, if you talk about a movie like, if you talk about a movie like Jurassic Park. If you put Jurassic Park in theaters tomorrow, it would do as well. Um, it'd do fantastic because that movie still has that movie still feels like a modern day summer blockbuster. I haven't well, seen that film yet. Do you do you guys go to Cinemark? What's the that? Movie theater? Cinemark, the movie theater. Oh no, I don't know. They I have know. they have something. It's like a it's like a thing that's right next door. It's called an XD Cinema. It's where they. They show old classic movies that have been completely remastered from like the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and those do oh, really that well. Is. Those do really, really well. So that okay, the they do really well. All kinds of movies, like not just you know. Yeah, type yeah, like I like um I went and I saw Jaws um mm-hmm. a couple months ago. Uh, they and they had a couple westerns. They had Grease. They had a whole bunch of movies. Now you're saying really good in the aspect of what they're expecting to get. 
Um, these movies do not break the box office. These movies do not do, I can guarantee you, they do not do as well. If you put them stack to stack with, uh, let's say, Man of Steel, and you were to see how much Man of Steel gets in see, but a... If I think if, like, the studios backed it again, made TV spots, you know, did everything in, in commercials, mm. I'm sure it would do good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if they re-release like a psycho like the original psycho in theaters re-see it again you know what i mean like if they did that let's with ask, like a lot of commercials and shit i'm sure they could they let could me ask him something okay the people are going to see this are they uh, what age group are they in like can you give me like give me your best guess of are they all age groups are they mainly older people mainly for younger movie? people for these, for these re-release movies you're talking about. Jaws, a rated R movie. Um, most likely people above 18, I'd hope so. No, 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 I'm not saying Jaws. You've seen more than just Jaws there, right? Uh, they had Grease, they had all sorts of movies. And yes, Okay, have, someone... you seen, have you seen all sorts of movies there? Yes, I saw Grease as well. Okay, when you saw Grease, what was the age group like? That was in Reese there. is more like teenish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was a lot. Of, there was a lot of teenagers in there. Were there a lot of Were there a lot of older people? Yes, there were a lot of older people with kids, though. Okay, I'm just trying. I'm asking a legit question. Of is this a is this more of a nostalgia thing that older people go see because they love the movie? Um. Or is it more of, or, or, or does it look like, or does it look like when you go go to a normal theater? That's all I was asking. Okay? Well, when you go to the movie theater and you see a brand new movie that just came out and you go see it again, why did you go see it again? Because you enjoyed it the first time and you thought it was a great movie. That's why that's why they have those XD cinemas that show old movies because people love these old no, movies and people love. And, those and I'm not attacking that. I'm just I was just asking a question. I understand okay. that. Okay, what was your question? My question is, when you see Should movies... Get tension over here. When you see movies like that, does, it, does, the, does the audience look like a traditional movie audience, or does it look like... Or, it's people or seeing it, a movie! Let's get on something else. Damn! <laughs> Sounds like a Storm Zink and Goku versus... Like, okay, let me ask it in this way, okay? Simply, Dude, simple okay, okay, let's just talk about something else. Alright, that's, that's enough. Like, we're done. Yeah, let's talk about this. So, Dragon Ball Z cross over with One Piece. Wait, let's... Let's talk... I don't really know about that. Let's, let's, yeah, let's talk I really about don't fucking... Either. Let's talk about Justice League. Alright? Justice League... Okay, so what's the next topic? Um... Yeah, I was talking about Justice League. Yeah, the didn't you tell me? Didn't you tell me the script was fucking changed or some shit? Yeah, it was getting rewritten. Apparently, okay. um, the writers got the sack. Okay, I'll tell you this right now. I'm sick and tired of hearing about Justice League every other week. This film is not going to happen. I'm glad, actually. I, I mean, I know I like I would want to see another Batman because I'm a fan, but. I'm actually glad because I don't think we need a Justice League movie. I think they should just continue with Man of Steel, make that a trilogy, make it successful, have an updated successful Superman franchise until they can think about doing other shit. Well, let's talk about DC right now for a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't think DC is ever going to do this because DC's got their heads so far up their ass they don't know they don't know what daylight is anymore. Um, DC recently made an Arrow TV show. But it's not based on the freaking... It was not based on the Smallville character. Um, they've had chances to franchise the TV show stuff, and they don't do it. They fail to do it, and they're going to fail to do it with this. Um, they probably want to make a Justice League movie standalone. And originally, when they were talking about a Justice League movie, they were talking about making a Justice League movie that was completely standalone, but still having a Batman and Superman movie. Do you remember when Dark Knight was coming out? And they were already making a Justice League movie when the fucking film Dark Knight didn't come out yet? Yes. Like, that was such bullshit. Like, that was so stupid. Like, they, I don't know. Like, that's just dumb, fucking just rushed, stupid shit. Like, this feels rushed, too. I'm not gonna bullshit. But yeah. it could have been good. It could have been good. Yeah. I'm waiting for a Flash movie, man. Yeah. 
That would be cool. Wait, so the Justice League movie has been officially canceled? No, it's not canceled. Oh. It's just, you know, that back to square one, pretty much. Well, not okay. square one. Not square one because they still have the stepping stone with Man of Steel because they can work off that. But they are at phase one with scripts and what they're going to do with the film, necessarily, probably. Like, with the characters. problem is they've made no progress whatsoever. What they're doing is, like, essentially, they're every day they're coming out with a new story. They're saying Batman's going to come out in 2017. Now, Batman's going to come out before the Justice League movie comes out. I mean, like, every time they make a statement, it's completely contradictory to the last statement they made. All right, he, he just, Chris just sent me a link to yeah. the Batman movie. Like, dude, look, I love the Dark Knight trilogy, all right? But I want to see a reboot, sure. I want to see a reboot, but wait a while. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, don't make it just to make it, because it's still hot. It'll still be hot. Just give it time. Like, have people, you know, still, you know, just think about this trilogy for a little longer until we have to accept something else. Like, I am going to say something that everyone here is going to attack me, okay? <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> I could see a Justice, or I could see two Batman films in theaters simultaneously, completely different universes, and be happy. Oh, yeah, that see. would be cool. Yeah, I agree. That would be cool. Like, I was saying that with, um, I think Spider Man. Like, if they do an Avengers 2 and happen to somehow get Spider Man in that, I believe that they should have Tobey Maguire be Spider Man to keep that franchise alive. So it doesn't feel like they just pushed it aside to make a reboot and still have the reboots going on. Like, that would be cool. Like, you have two Spider-Mans. Kind of like it'll feel like comic books, you know? I don't know. That's just how I feel. You yeah, know, there, there's, there's supposedly going to be having uh, Spider-Man in the next Avengers because um, they had seen Andrew Garfield with a stack of Avengers comics and uh -huh. all of them starred uh, Thanos. Huh. Mm-hmm. Well, he is a diehard comic book fan. Like, I heard him say that he loves Spider-Man. Like, he really does. Like, I mean, you don't believe some actors when they say that they don't, like, they love the characters, especially those fucking Dragon Ball Evolution bullshit artists. Oh, yeah. we watched the anime for this and that, and we read the manga. No, you didn't. Shut up, please. <laughs> I heard All right. That, John, like, I heard um, Venom was going to be an amazing Spider-Man 2. No. Yeah. It's going it, to be... Um, uh, Electro and Rhino. No, no, no. What, what he's talking about is that there was a, um, basically there was a, uh, they, they showed essentially a, um, oh, crud, what is it? A, um, like a, a locker. A locker, yes. A yeah, a, a, a safe, safe yeah. locker. And the locker number is the same number of Venom in Ultimate Comics, so people are trying well, to get maybe, in. Maybe that could just be an homage, you know, or like a little thing for the fans, instead yeah. of being something bigger than that, like maybe, you know? Yeah. To be completely like, honest... Just... Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. To be completely honest, I really do not, or could not see Venom or Carnage in any Spider-Man movie that is PG-13. I really couldn't, because these are... You know who could play Carnage... Venomous. Who? You know who could play Jim Carrey? Uh, I could like a see psycho that. serial killer guy. Yeah, I could see that. Like he looks like that. Like if you watch them in the Riddler, like he looks like that, gr like that disgusting dude. Like especially in number twenty three, like he could play that serial killer piece of shit. Like I think. He well, could. to me, like whenever I see Jim Carrey, I don't see Jim Carrey as playing these characters. I just kind of <laughs> see Jim Carrey as playing Jim Carrey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Same with Adam Sandler. Yeah. Scotty as well. With different characters. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp does have range, though. He's a good actor. Like, he could do other things. Like, he is good. Like, I've seen him where he's not... I don't like, ever see Johnny Depp. Did somebody just say Johnny Depp comparing those to people like Adam Sandler? I am... Like, he thinks that Johnny Depp is pretty much the same in all his movies. Okay, then you are... Why? I agree with that to some point because he does play out crazy characters that are the same. Yeah. They are he looks, the same. I, okay, I think I've seen Johnny Depp in like two movies. Mm -hmm. I've seen 
more movies that he stars in, but I only think I've seen him twice. Because he always plays different characters, and they look different. They feel different. Jack Sparrow is probably his best. Like, yeah, he's, definitely. He's, you do not see Johnny Depp in there at all. He's just like a totally... Or Edward Scissorhands. Well, have you guys seen um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Oh, right. Yeah, that was a good movie. To be honest, I didn't even know that was Johnny Depp until like halfway through the movie. <laughs> is he Nightmare on Elm Street as well? Yeah. I didn't even know that when I was younger. Yeah. No, not a Nightmare on Elm Street. No, he is. He's he's one of the main stars. He's in that. Oh, yes, 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 Nightmare on Elm Street. I thought you said Nightmare Before Christmas. Sorry. Oh, no. It's yeah. cool. <laughs> now, he probably would have been in that movie if it was made now, though, because he was in Corpse Bride. That's pretty much the sequel. Well, not the sequel, but it's like the same thing. It's the it's a um, it's a spiritual sequel. That's what it's called. Um, yes, um, but the idea of it is that Johnny De like Johnny Depp is like Gary Oldman. Yeah, Gary Oldman is a character actor. He's really good at it. Yes, and you actually name a movie that you've seen Gary Oldman in. Um, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, The Batman Begins, Dracula, fucking no. I'm saying Gary Oldman. Oh, oh, like saying, he saw the actor. Yeah, no. Yes, like that he actually. <laughs> did you that hear he, that? Did you hear that funny thing that he act in Dark in the Dark Knight trilogy? He looks like Flanders. <laughs> 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 he does though. Like now that I think about it, he looks just like Flanders from Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that was maybe that was a hint of his next film. <laughs> They can never do a Simpsons live action. Like that would be just ridiculous. <laughs> or like I mean, like I don't know. Maybe Beavis and Butthead. You could do Beavis and Butthead live action, but see, the thing about it is, I don't want these things. Like I don't need these things live action anymore. Um, I want things translated to new mediums, but mediums that are different. Did you hear about um, the Hitman movie? They're making another one with the guy from Fast and Furious. Is it Paul Walker? Yeah. That's kind of dumb. Like, I really liked uh, Timothy Elephant. Like, he fit the role. They could have just made a better yeah. movie. Like, the movie wasn't horrible. It was just... Like, it was like Max Payne. Like, Max Payne was just corny. <laughs> but Mark Wahlberg was a good choice for Max Payne, I thought. Like. But not every fucking video game character, like Mark says all the time. Like, just because he was in one fucking video game movie does not mean that he needs to be in all of them. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, I, like, I like my joke. Do you know my joke on that one? What? Um, um, oh, crap, what's your name? Um, wife to Brad Pitt. Angelina Jolie? Yes. Andrew, Angelina Jolie played in one video game movie. So I think she should be cast as Kratos from God of War. Was that a good movie, actually? Because I remember it being good. Tomb Raider. Yes, Tomb Raider is arguably the best video game movie ever made. What about Silent Hill? That was really good, the first one. Yeah. Second I said one. arguably. You like Silent Hill, though, right? Yeah. When I said Tomb Raider's arguably, okay, there are probably three that are brought up, I think three. Tomb Raider, Silent Hill, and Resident Evil are the three I can think of top my head that people argue to be the best. Now, when I say the best, if anybody wants to get down my throat, I don't mean necessarily good. I mean, um, if you take a pile of shit, there is a be there is the best turd in that pile. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so th those are those are good movies. They're not great, um, but they're but they're certainly. They're but, certainly but actually. Silent enjoyable. Hill is pro is a good film. Like it is. Like it is a really good movie. Like it feels it's in, like a movie. It's, it, it's enjoyable, but I necessarily wouldn't say it's good. Like, like I got scared of it. Like it was creepy. Like it had a real lot of good creepy moments. Good acting. Good story. Like I cared. Like I, and I actually saw the movie before I saw the fucking game. So, like that made me a fan of the game. So. So I thought it was good. Like, that movie was done good. Like, the Resident yeah. Evil movies, those aren't movies. <laughs> oh, God, those, yeah. They're those not movies. Things. I think the first one is actually fairly good. Yeah, it has its moments. After two, we just got too shit. I think the best, though, is Extinction, to be honest. I know a lot of people hate that movie, but I enjoy that one. But 
I can't even watch the second one. Holy shit. Why? Damn. I don't know. Like, it just doesn't look right. Like, Nemesis does not look right on screen. At and all. that's actually really funny because he looks identical to Nemesis. He does. Yeah, he does. It's just that, like, when you have him face off against Alan, it just looks horrible. The guy in the ant <laughs> move, it's just terrible. Terrible. The Rusty Man. Yet again, there are certain things that could never be done in live action. I think Nemesis probably tops that list. Like, he looked fucking sick. Like, he looked just like the video game. Yeah. It's just that it doesn't look good on screen. Like, it, you can't... Like, it looked good when he was just standing there and didn't say anything or walked around. But when it actually got down to the action, it was fucking horrendous. Like, horrible. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the problem with it, is they probably shouldn't have had action sequences. Like, if they would have done a horror film with Nemesis, it might have worked. Yeah, like him popping in and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, like, the game. Um, <laughs> yet again, like, you know your medium. That's my biggest problem with video game movies, is they don't know their medium. Uh, it, it's kind of like comic book movies. They all have to be comic book movies. Um, they need you... Um, I, I've said this once, and I, I don't know if I've ever said this on, on this uh, podcast, but I have said this a lot of times, is that they think, um, the industry thinks that they, uh, th- th- that there's this magical box, okay? Mm-hmm. Magical box. And essentially, if you put, basically, if you take any, anything, like if you take, like, let's say, Flash, okay? And you take Flash's elements and you put it in this magical box, then you'll get a movie out of that magical box. Like, it just works. You just put the elements into this magical box, and the formula is there, and it turns into a movie. And that's not reality. Comic books are vastly different mediums. And you have to make the movie cater toward that character um, in the genre that that character is. You can't just shove them into the magical box and expect a good movie. Yeah. Okay? That is my analogy that I gave, the magical box. <laughs> And that's what they tried to do. And when they tried to do this with things that don't fit, that don't fit the rigid superhero thing, they tend to fail. Um, Batman Begins is probably the perfect example of when they did not shove Batman to the magical box. They actually made a mover tailored around Batman. And what did we get? Dark Knight. No, we got Batman Begins. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, the point is... is See, that's what... Sep- that, for me, is what separates comic book movie. Like, Dark Knight Trilogy, to me, is not comic book movies. They're, they're, they're more than that. They're real movies. Imagine if they would have shoved those elements into the magical box. Would you love that movie? No. Get in it! Get into the magical box! <laughs> I seriously believe that Man of Steel is going to be the best... Well, I'm hoping that it's going to be the best film of 2013. Like, it has I agree so much that. fucking... It has so much fucking potential, like... Like, it's more than just a superhero... Like, it looks more than a superhero film. Like, it looks like it has an emotional story that you care about. You know what I mean? Not like a Thor movie where it's just Thor... You know, he fights an enemy, it's over. Like, it feels more than that. Like, looks same thing with the Dark Knight. Yeah, like, it looks like a... And- Thor feels more than that. Have you been seeing what they're doing with Thor The Dark World? It looks Shakespearean. <laughs> like Iron Man, Shakespearean in the park. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It does. It really, and Thor can actually pull off Shakespeare. Um, and I've heard that they're going to go with more, um, with more of that time period. That's going like, to be really time. cool to see like more of that, like not Earth. Like, Is Earth going to be in this movie? Yes, I don't know how much. Obviously, probably not a lot because I know Thor's, that Thor's best parts were definitely with him, like fucking around with um, you know, the Earth people acting like he was, you know, still the god of thunder, but he was an Earth, like no yeah. powers, like him acting like an idiot. Another, <laughs> <laughs> and he got drunk. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people get bugged with stuff like that. Like I know that when uh when the whole Captain America thing was coming out, and Captain America is going to be in Avengers 2. People, uh, or Avengers, sorry. Um, people are like, oh my word, they're going to do that gag where he's like, what's this? It's a cell phone. <laughs> um, the out-of-time gag. 
which they kind of did that with Thor. Oh, wait. Didn't you tell me that you wanted to see a fucking Back to the Future remake? Well, yes. I, I want to see a sequel remake. Like, that would be cool to see what you said, like, have Michael J. Fox be Doc, because it is, like, his illness, he could work with that shit. But if they tried new actors, you know, doing the same things that we've seen Marty and fucking Christopher Lloyd do, like, you know, M Michael J. Fox, no. It, no. 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 Sorry. Get the and then they do it, and it's amazing, and you're like, yeah, I love this movie! Dude, you can't fucking mimic fucking Christopher Lloyd's Doc Brown. Okay, then, then what you you know what you do? What? You make a different Doc Brown. You actually reinvent the movie. You re reinvent the wheel. Have, like have a kid. Like we, he never really got into his personal, so maybe he could have a kid. Like make it a third movie about his son investigating like time travel and figuring it out by himself, or do a prequel of Doc Brown, like how he came up with time travel. Like you could have prequels of like something like that, I guess. Yeah. But I don't want to see new actors trying trying to be those people like change the characters do things that, that are different don't rehash same jokes because you don't deliver it like them it's just possible so the point is you reinvent the character you reinvent the wheel um like you basically take it and you make it your own um that's what a remake should be yeah you gotta reinvent something um i think I want to say Halloween is kind of what I'm leaning towards when I give an example. Yeah. Are we, are we ever going to get a Halloween free? <sighs> Don't even get me started on that. <laughs> the mention of fucking idiots. They're pussy morons that don't know what the hell they want to do. They're in a hole because people hate Halloween 2, 2009, and people hate fucking... Halloween Resurrection, so they can't go back to the old franchise because we got two pieces of garbage that they can't fucking go off on. Like they what? H two O is considered a piece of garbage. No, Hollow. Did I say H two O? No, but you said there's two pieces of garbage. I yeah, thought you were in the old, the old in, in the old franchise where it left off. You got Resurrection, Resurrection, which yeah. people can't stand. Then in the remakes, you got Halloween oh. two that people can't stand. So you can't go from there. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I misheard you. It's, I it's, thought you said in the original, I thought you said in the original there was two pieces of garbage. That's no, what no, I no, thought. no, 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 But, yeah. And I was like... But, like, if they... Like, go ahead. I was like, hey, wait, I enjoyed H2O. And, and did like, I see the wrong movie? The only <laughs> way that they could do something is if they pull a text chainsaw. You know what text chainsaw did? How they made the newest one a sequel to the original... They could probably pull some of that. What? Yeah, okay, they, so do a Superman Returns. Okay, I understand. Like they could do that. It's week. called the, it's called pulling a Superman Returns. Okay. <laughs> they they could technically do that because I mean I know we have H two O we have Halloween four but you can't you we still don't have a real Halloween three. Like I know there's events that take place after but Halloween three season of the witch is not Halloween, it's not Michael Myers. I mean, it's Halloween, but it's not Michael Myers. So you can... I... I love that idea. I love that concept. That yeah, I did. Were... I, yeah, because it was like something different in all of them. They wanted to... Because they wanted to do two Michael Myers stories, and then after that, have it be something different after... in Halloween, because there's so much shit that can happen on Halloween. That's what, that's what Season of the Witch Halloween 3 was trying to do, but people hated it because Michael Myers wasn't in it. But they're stuck in a hole. They don't know what to do. Like they, they could, they could just remake it again in five years. But I don't know. They should just fucking have Rob Zombie just do a third one and close it. That fan made film was good on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Awakening. Yeah, you did a review on that. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was a good movie. I guess that's the closest we're gonna get to a sequel until Dimension stops acting like a bunch of assholes. But whatever. I don't know. Like I'm a fan they of the week, but pull, yeah. they, hey, they could pull a Jason X. Oh god. No no no. no. Come on, the robot coming soon. <laughs> 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 
I'm looking forward to this Assassin's Creed film, man. Oh, it doesn't it have um, the guy that played Magneto? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be out here. Has that even been confirmed? Yeah, hold on. Be right back. Oh. Nothing's been confirmed yet, but I'm thinking he's going to be out here. I think I'm going to wait until they announce who it is. Yeah. Jamie, do you like um, Assassin's Creed? Um, I have three of the games, but I've never beaten a single one of them. <laughs> Which three do you own? I own the first one, the second one, and Revelations. Okay. I kind of advise you to play the second one first. Mm -hmm. The first one has a way of making people not want to continue. Second one's got the best storyline. I mean, the first one is an amazing game. It's just an amazing game because they actually took things that doesn't translate into a game and they put it into a game. It's like they actually make you feel like an assassin. Problem is, being an assassin can be kind of boring. First, it was too repetitive. Well, the first one is too repetitive, but like the things like okay, do you remember the do you, do you remember having to steal from people? Yeah, it's like really stealing from people. But guess what? In the game, it's freaking boring. I hated that. I was like, I, oh crap! Another, another stealing from people. Man, damn this game! I, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm just done. Um, stuff like that, and like assassinating people was boring because you have to actually line up, you have to actually wait. Um, yeah. It's a crime. Let's talk about Assassin's Creed 4 for a bit. Oh, by the way, guys, this is spoilers if you've never played Assassin's Creed 3. So, be warned. Are you planning on playing Assassin's Creed? Not really. So you don't mind if we spoil the game? So this is no. spoilers, guys. Go ahead. So. Okay, what would you like in Assassin's Creed 4? Um, you was talking about you want a female assassin, don't you? Something different yes. because it relates to Adam and Eve. Like Desmond yes. as to Desmond is Adam and want a female. And I, I want to meet Eve. I, I yeah, want the next yeah, tag yeah. to Um, don't call her Eve. Don't call her Yvonne. Don't call her Evelyn. Come up with a real name. Huh. It's like, um, Juno's on the loose now, and Desmond's dead now, so... Do you think Desmond's dead then or not, or...? We don't know, and I'm gonna wait till they tell me if he's dead or alive. Because, a couple of days ago, they said this game will come out next year. So we definitely get a title for it. So it's coming out this year? It'll be this year. I thought it was 2014 next year. No, they said there's an Assassin's Creed game this year. Yeah. And they said the next Assassin's Creed game is going to have a new character, so that means it's going to be this year with a new character. Yeah. Yet again, they also said it's a new team, so this team has probably been working on this game for a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I still want Egyptian times, but we'll wait and see what they do with it. I like a Victorian England. Like, you see, like, Jack the Ripper. Like, dark, if you know what I mean. I don't know, I don't want to see, I don't want to see Victorian England, um, right out of the gate, because they usually, they usually go, essentially how, they, how they've done it in the past, is they usually go sequence like the the next game is a later time period and because they're going to have a new character they can start in an earlier time period but i want them to start early enough so they can do some interesting stuff with it um maybe victorian england to be the last one of the uh, of, of of our new character for you yeah because i know they will do a world war two or world war one game because assassins would not use actual guns because assassination is all to do with knives, isn't it? So. 
Well, real assassins do use guns. Yeah, um, but I mean, their tradition is uh, using knives to, count, to yeah, kill, no, like, okay. um, stealth flu. But a bullet that I had a mile away is very stealthy. Yeah, you know the guy was killed, but you don't know by who. Do you mean by the end of Revelations? No, 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 I mean a bullet to the head a mile away. You know the person was killed. By who? What else? That's um, I think it's going to be great. Hulk Blue. Like, you've seen the um, fan made art of it, you know? Yes, as of right that, now. That looks it. really good. Actually, like people coming up with good ideas. Yeah, the problem is those good ideas won't be translated into this game because the game is probably already um, is probably already near completion. Yeah, it's just a shame that they don't want to carry on kind of story. I thought there was, but you know. I thought they was going to base it off the French Revolution after the um, American Revolution so yeah and then they're going to have the English Revolution no. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is an English Revolution but it was way before the American Revolution yeah because the Americans don't do anything first <laughs> We don't, we just do everything better. Yeah. Where's John? I'm here. Oh. I was just listening, I didn't really know what you're talking about, I didn't want to interrupt. Okay, let's talk you, about... You was like ninja like Batman, quiet man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's talk about Arkham 3, the game. Yeah. Oh, uh... Well. The game's probably the best games of all time. Don't spoil uh, Arkham City ending because I haven't played uh, it yet. I won't Please. know, but it's it's amazing. Yes. It's probably better than half the fucking movies. Dude, okay. Honestly. I will spoil. I'm sorry to tell you this, but Batman is in Arkham City. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, because I have been playing it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm on the bit where, um, Mr. Freeze, that bit. Okay. Actually, pe Penguin has the, um, Mr. Freeze good. Um, now, I have some more information that I don't know if you guys know this yet. Um, a while ago, Rocksteady Games came out and said they're working on another game that's not Batman. And then they've announced that a Batman, uh, an Arkham game is coming out this year. So it leads me to believe new development team. Yeah, they, uh -oh. they already, they already um, confirmed that Rocksteady... Uh, is and Paul Dini are not coming back for the next Batman game. Aw, oh, man! Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> well, though, in gaming, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Does that give you yeah, yeah, Paul Dini is a god. He's a fucking man. He, he makes everything amazing. Anything to do with Batman, okay. Justice League, superheroes, he's the I'm guy. Just saying, Ro I'm just saying Rocksteady Games... Um, not doing this game is necessarily not the most terrible thing I've ever heard, because I can give you two examples of when this worked well. Yeah, they're still having the voices from the animated series, aren't they, still? Um, I'm not sure. I hope so. I heard, that they, I wanted, I heard they wanted to hire Paul Dini to, um, be involved with the Justice League film. I don't know if you guys know that, but I heard that they wanted him in that, so that's, that That'd gives me some hope. Cause he, I, I think he could direct a film and do good. Cause he's directed a lot of the animated series episodes, wrote them. Like I think he could do a good job. Yeah. Like the guy is a fucking genius. But the idea of it is right now we don't know anything on it. Like we don't know consoles yet. Um, I'm guessing next gen consoles, but we don't know. 
because next gen console is supposed to be coming out this year, and they have no games announced yet. Well, why can I just E3? say something? This does, can I can I just say something? And I know you probably are gonna fucking cut my head off for saying it, Mark. Probably everybody, but I don't think we need a PS4 at all. And I'm gonna say that right now because let me let, hear me out. All right, before you fucking start yelling at me, Mark. I think we don't need one because the PS4 is perfect on itself. It updates every fucking month. It's a system that is like a computer. It doesn't. We do not need a new system. Sure, I was saying. Yeah, PS2. I can understand upgrading. PS2 is a DVD player and a game system. PS3 is almost everything that is available on a PC, pretty much. What yeah. else can okay. they do? Except and it's actually except hard except, things except, they can except do. Except Except attach a fucking touch screen to it and make it the PlayStation pad. Okay, <laughs> there are actually pro uh, there are actually limitations, and one of the biggest limitations right now uh, has nothing to actually do with PS3 or 360. Is right now PC games are limited because they don't because they haven't made new consoles. Um, until they make new consoles. PCs are going to be gimped because they can do so much better on PCs right now, but they're not going to because they want because they they they, they want to release everything on three platforms. So um, and also people prefer to people are preferring to play some games on PC because the graphics are so much better because consoles haven't been upgraded in so long that they've done everything they can. But the biggest reason of why and this is what relates to you, is the console generation is starting. There's no stopping. It's going to start, um, it's already started with the Wii U. It's going to come, and the point is, is that Sony has two choices. Either get left behind, or freaking, or, or freaking adapt and say we're going to make a new console. They have no option. Their hand's being forced. Yeah. Oh. It's not necessarily they want to, it's simply that this is how the industry works. And if they don't release another console, they'll have one that's gimped compared to the, compared to the next 360, or the Xbox system, and that's a bad position to be at. Yeah, because I heard Sony's losing money. I don't know, I heard that Sony is right now is the second best selling system of this generation. I wonder the thing with these consoles as well, they're having an ID system. Did you hear about it? Yes, I've heard that. But yet again, these systems haven't been confirmed yet. So everything you've heard is speculation or rumors. Maybe they're just going to make like another like PSP type thing. Like maybe it'll be like a touch screen with the store downloads. You know what I mean? Like something like that, but not necessarily a new PlayStation 4. Did you hear what I just said, John? What did you What did you say? repeat? It. Sorry. The next Xbox is coming out. Seven twenty is is starting. The point is, is that if Sony doesn't do something, they're going to lose lots and lots of money, and they're going to. Sony has two choices here. But they already not announced PS4. No, they have not. Yeah, they have. They, they have said PlayStation, the future. The yes. commercial that wasn't like really a PS4. That was just a commercial saying what's coming. That's or something basically is an coming. announcement to announce something. Um, on the twentieth of this month, something will be announced, and that's almost certainly going to be PS4. Yeah. That is not. Oh a come on! If they make this fucking thing over a thousand dollars and they expect people to buy it, go fuck yourself. Because I'm not buying it. The current it. rumor is four hundred. That's not bad. That's the current rumor. Um, that's good because you'll sell more than. But yet again, um, gaming PCs cost a thousand, and people buy them. Um, and the idea of how you get away with this is do something like what Microsoft is rumored to be doing: is release two different models, one for the people. Um, and I and I think that might be a trend in in the in in the future because these these little web based games are becoming so popular that they probably want to capitalize on that. So I wouldn't be surprised if if there are two versions of the PS4. 
like the PlayStation Social and then the PlayStation 4. I would not be surprised if we hear about that. It's like, I don't know. I want, yeah. the, I want the connection to be better as well. Like, say, for example, I want to play, like, games with John, like, with really good connection, like, in different yeah, countries. I, ne I never have a bad connection on my PlayStation 3. That's rarely. It's usually the game for me. Like, it's usually the servers, the video game, not my PlayStation, because my PlayStation has fucking Wi-Fi, so it's you know, in it. Like, it's perfect. Like, I never have, like, a problem. It's just always the game. Do you actually use Wi-Fi? Yeah. Because Wi-Fi is actually not great. Um, you're, you get better connections if you use wired. Wired connections always. I, I don't know. Like, I, yeah, you're right, though, because it's a direct connection, but I don't, yes. I never really have a problem. I'm not saying you have a problem. You probably have good internet. I'm not saying you have a problem. I'm just saying wired is better. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not a wired like, fan boy, but... Um... Like, I don't know, it's not that I'm not accepting of the future, like, I like old things still. But, like, I accepted a PlayStation 3 because I knew that that was... That is, you know, a system that doesn't need a new system because it updates all the time, like... I wouldn't, like, they could probably make this system because of internet and Wi-Fi and how it's connected to the you know, like their servers, they could probably just make that a PS4. No, like, so they, they can't they could because probably they update are... graphics. They could update graphics. No, the problem is the gra uh, the problem is that there actually are, um, first of all is... Hey, Goku. Yes? That. What's up? Hello? Okay. The company's executive vice president and chief financer, uh, Masaru Kato, was forced to spill the beans during a conference call to the investors today. He explained that Sony's increased re research and development costs for the year were going towards a future platform for the home market. And when did this come out? Um, this was posted in May two thousand uh, 2011. So? Yeah, they've, they've, they've been working on... Uh, they've been working on the PS4 since the PS3 was released. No, I understand that, okay? But, yeah. um, the point is, is that... I I'm sure, that I'm sure it's gonna look cool. Like, I wonder what it's gonna look like. It's, I heard, like, I saw a lot of fake pictures of it being yeah. glass. That's cool. The yeah, that'd, that'd be really cool. <laughs> Don't drop it, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it has not been, what I said is it's not been officially announced. They have not come out and actually made an official announcement of yet. But they've, um, but they've been working on it since launched the PS2. So we know they've been working on it. Uh, companies have dev kits. So are they going to be... Okay, like, I already know that the future is downloads. That's going to be the future. No more discs. Discs of the past. That's it. Mm -hmm. But I can't... Like, I still feel like buying a movie means more than having it downloaded for some reason. Like, Same. having it in my hands feels more than having it downloaded. That Same. is the future, and I, yeah, and I accept it, but I want to I wanna buy a movie. Like, I want to go out to the store. I like looking at all the... Well, like, I don't know. It's just different... Ex I'll tell know. you this right now. The system will not be download only. That would be... That, that would actually kill them. Um, because... No. We, what? The majority of movie-making... The majority of money movie making now is Netflix, and all of that is digital. Yeah. No, the that problem is, is, is that the, the problem is that first of all is, <laughs> um, they don't have special features on these things yet. They just don't have the base to make it all digital yet. And there is a oh. large chunk of people yeah, that currently uh, will not buy digital only, and so you have to lean them into it. You don't slam that. You don't slam the brakes on them right away. We never said um, that. We said it, it was eventually going to be all digital. No, 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 and, I, and I'm saying this. I'm saying this console will not be di uh, will not be digital only. That's all I said. I wouldn't, I'm just saying... I, I have a strong I, emphasis on digital. Absolutely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if that is what it is. Yeah, because they're currently doing that right now with PS3. 
like right when yeah. a game comes out, it's on the market for download immediately. Yep. No, and I'm and, and I'm and I'm saying that they're probably going to make a shift towards digital. Um, and I would not be surprised if you get games cheaper if you download them digitally. I would not be surprised at all. I mean, I don't see the. Pro I mean, it's still the same. You know, it is still the same. Yeah. But it's not the same at the same. Like, it's, I don't know. It's just hard to explain. You're getting the I same gotta, thing, but it's not the same feeling. Yeah, it's like you. You, you gotta be. A, you gotta be a collector of movies and like stuff like that to see what I mean. I guess. Yeah. No, it, it's more of the it's more of the fact that you think you get cheated. You're paying the same price for less. That and like you know what I mean. Holding the movie in my hands feels like I actually really do own it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's mine. Hey, you know you you know what you do? Huh? Go to a store, okay? Think you can do everything? I, I think you can do everything you need to do at a Best Buy, okay? Go to a Best Buy, okay? All right. Like, do you own a printer? Yeah. It's still oh. not the same. I'm sorry. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, Just don't yeah. get these. It's not the same at all. It's what really you not. Is you go buy some blank DVDs. You go buy some cases. You, know, you print out a... You print and out if a I tell you that, and you're telling me this, I'd probably still buy movies. <laughs> I'd probably still buy the movie, and if I ha I can make the movie. So, I don't know. No, no, I'm not saying put the movie on the disc. I'm just saying now you own a physical box so you can pick it up and say there's a disc in it. Um, and now you can watch your digital movie. I'm not saying actually make the movie. All I'm saying is have a fake box. Because if that's all you care about is a box and a disc, you can do that for a lot cheaper. Um, because that means nothing to me. That is, like, I mean, well, the idea is that... It, it means nothing to a lot of people, but there are a lot of people also, like me and, like me and uh, what pisses me off, who just, like, there is just a feeling, it, it's also kind of like, like blockbusters and, and things like that, just walking into a blockbuster and renting a movie is a completely different feeling than going on Netflix and just streaming a movie. It, yeah, it's just it is. You know, I know the feeling. I, I know the feeling you get. It's kind of like the feeling that, that I think those people in movies, like, uh, Red Raiders of a Lost Ark get when they walk into like a, a like a tomb or something. Yeah, that's a joke. I thought you were being serious. <laughs> so I, the joke I don't know, is, like... is that Blockbusters is a relic of the past. Yeah, it sucks. Well, I will, like, even Blockbuster wasn't even, a, like, a kind of place I would even go in. Like, I probably went to Hollywood Video. Oh, yeah, I used to go to Hollywood all the time. <laughs> I used to go, I used to, I, I pretty much only went to uh, Blockbuster. Like, I just recently started going to Blockbuster, like, not that long, like, maybe, like, two years ago. But the ones I used to go to all the time are, like, the non-big ones, like, the, you know, like, the side stores and shit, like, the crappy ones. Oh. Oh, like well, Hollywood Video, video not video. Hollywood Video. No, that's a I that's think. a big one, but that's like after all the little ones closed down. Before that, when I was like thirteen or like eleven, that's the kind of places I would go in, like but those like little fuck. Video or yeah. I just I, I just have to bring this up, okay? Do do you, all of you know what Family Video is? Mm, yeah, he, yeah. He just said that. I think. Yeah, it, it's okay. another. Um, Store. Would you mean I think Family Video is the place. most funniest video store ever known to man. You know why? Why? Most of the big chains don't have porn, okay? Hmm. Family Video has porn. But they're called Family Video. I meant, like, I, I, you know, what's also funny, like, now porn, you can get it for free anywhere. So, like, if you go to a video store when I was little, I used to, like, look in between the, <laughs> the sheet when I was, like, too young. Yeah, but I just think there. it's funny that the one with family in the name is the one that doesn't have porn. <laughs> Yo, Mark, have you seen these drawings Bob done? Oh, these are, these are the pictures he drew. Oh, okay. That, that's good. He did Star Wars and Batman. So you don't mind if I use this Batman picture for the um, podcast? You can use it if you want to. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be doing it. You're not. You're not going to sue me, are you? 
<laughs> nah, <laughs> post, post note. My copyright. Yeah. I have your permission, YouTube, so shut up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cool Batman picture. Oh, thanks, man. I'll be doing Justice yeah. League soon. Oh, that'll be cool. I mean, recently I've been using Steam. Oh, yeah, that's Steam Steam Box is coming out. And I love Steam. What's Steam? Steam is a digital download service where you can get games for cheap. Really, yep. really, really. Oh. Yeah, like when uh, when Borderlands Two just came out, like a couple weeks after that, like they were selling it for like twenty bucks. Yes, I got Darksiders Two, the entire collection, thirteen bucks. Everything, all the DLC, both games is awesome. Um, it's a way to get games for cheap, and. Yes. I guess I sound like I'm living in the past, though, when I say about video stores. Because I am. I admit it. But it's just not... It doesn't feel the same. Yeah. It, I, I guess it also has to be, like, like what, where you grew up and um, yeah. how often you went to the video stores and things like it, that. It, 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 it kind of reminds me of my grandfather, okay? Mm -hmm. I could have bought my grandfather a DVD player. He still wouldn't have used it. <laughs> I still use VHS, so... Oh yeah. I have I have Blu-ray, I have DVD, but I still use VHS. I don't use VHS. I stopped using that years ago. It's obsolete. I, I like the shitty trailers. I, I don't know. Just it's funny. Yeah, it's, like it's just yeah. It's just yeah. Nostalgic, you know? yeah. Exactly. I don't know. Like that. Like that. That's not gonna change. Like movie theaters aren't gonna be a thing of the past, and it sucks because going to the movies is so much fucking fun. That's my favorite place to go. Well, it's not... Movie theaters aren't going to die. They're going to become smaller. And movies are going to start coming out on both. To, to what I think it is, is that this is my theory. Or this is only a hypothesis. So this is only what I've analyzed. I, I could be completely wrong. What I think it is, is I think that movies are going to be released for a weekend. And then... The Tuesday after the weekend, they'll be released on DVD. That's what I think will happen. Well, what is what actually is going to happen to movie theaters is a lot of them are going to be end up closing down because what what Hollywood's doing now is you know how most movie theaters are run off of a of, of film film prints and film rollers that they put in the machine to make it go. They are replacing that and making everything digital now. But the movie theaters are going to have to provide that themselves. And these are like a couple thousand dollars for new screens, new uh, equipment. Dude, wait, are you talking... Wait, did you mention just now how like video movies, movie theaters are using downloads instead of projections? Did yeah, you just say that? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, and, and so a lot of movie theaters are going to have to close down because they can't afford to replace all their stuff. So a yeah. lot of people I don't currently have that problem because every theater I go to is digital, basically. Nightmare. Dude, that's such fucking bullshit. That's gonna, I don't know, man. Yeah. I like things. I like <clears throat> things changing, but shit just change. Like shit, you, when you grow up, it's just like you miss it. You know, like. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. I don't know. Because it, like, it, it's really hard to imagine, like my adulthood without, you know, going to a blockbuster or or something like that or not yeah. having a DVD to hold in my hands or, you know. Yeah, it's weird. But like, the kids of the future... phones now, like, look at us on Skype. Phones are yeah. now. I know, yeah. Okay, I didn't have a cell phone in high school. Really? No, I, I did not. I had, I had, a, I had a Walkman <laughs> a CD player. In my... In, Basically, in my senior class, if you had a, if you had a cell phone, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about ninth grade. I'm talking about senior. When I was a twelfth grader, the only kids that had cell phones were ones that had jobs and bumping themselves. Yeah, like everybody has a cell phone now. Everyone. Okay, let me put it this way: When I'm at the bus stop, I see, I see poor people pull out fucking iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding with you, poor people. Like, what is what is a fucking 
four, seven year old kid need an iPhone for? <laughs> like seriously, buy him a normal phone. Yeah. I don't need this, this fucking crap. Like, what's he gonna do with it? He's not even smart enough. To need, I mean, I guess maybe some of them are, but not all of okay. them. I mean, no, 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 no. It's not that they're smart. It's that you don't want them to be smart with that because you're giving them the uh, the uh, the internet without guidance. Yeah. Um, that is ing- that that is stupid. Um, when I have a kid, I'm going to go to the cell phone company. I'm going to be like, hey, I want you to get the internet. I want you to make it where he can't use the internet on his phone. I don't care. He can have an iPhone. He can he can have a music player. He can have that. Um, he's not going to have the internet on his phone. But what if he really I'm- desperately, badly wants it? Are you going to deny that to him? Like, Okay. Yes, I will deny something that can hurt him if he doesn't use it in the right way. Until I know that he until I know that he's old enough, yes, I am going to deny that. Because I actually understand how to parent. And I understand that kids think they need something when they don't really need it. Yeah, or you're right. Their, their parental options. Like sorry yeah. to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you, I just want to say it before I forget. Like there uh, are some of these kids that only get these things because of what the name is. They don't even have it because they want it. They want it because everyone else has it. <laughs> yes. But I'm saying that the the idea of it is is that, yes, my ki- uh, kids, kids want things because they, um, and they're going to beg it. That doesn't mean you have to give in. You're right. Um, well, what were you saying, f- James? James? Sorry. Uh, um, like, uh, shit. <laughs> um, it's cool. It'll come back to you. Yeah. But yeah, like, I don't know, like, I guess, like, trends are just things you gotta follow to, you know, have friends. You know? But, like, that's what kids have, you know? You, like, especially when I was little, like, if you didn't have a pair of fucking Nikes, you were a poor kid, you know? So. I didn't have a pair of Nikes. And to go back further, if you didn't have the uh, the light up Skechers, you were you were <laughs> awful. Yeah, I know that I, I I know growing up, um, most of my friends were gamers, so it's like basically if you didn't own the latest console, you were. The the were the, the, the one that I usually had, like the one, mostly like I like I think I like to think that I remember growing up with like Nintendo, like Super Nintendo, like when I was really little. I think that's what I was playing mostly, but what yeah. I really grew up with, like teens, is probably PlayStation One or like um, uh, 64, because that's oh. the system I had, like mostly. Like I, I grew up brief. I, grew up having Nintendo Boy, I remember having my first Nintendo. I loved my first Nintendo. I was actually it was old the enough. More system I got into. What was your first consoles, guys? PlayStation. Nintendo. Nintendo, the first one. The SNES. Super Nintendo was my first. Yeah. Mine Mar- was the Sega Master System. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, like 12 people have heard of the Sega Master System. <laughs> <laughs> See, but, like, okay, what about graphics? Do you think graphics make a game? Or do you think it's the game that makes the game? Like, there's some games that are back in, like, early Nintendo days that have more to them than just the newer games, like, now that have just crazy, insane graphics. Like, look at a game like Heavy Rain. Great graphics, cool story, but it's not a game. Like, it doesn't feel like a game to me. Like, it feels like a movie where I'm just pressing buttons. You know, like, compare that to playing Super Mario. I don't know, it's just weird playing fucking Resident Evil, or playing fucking, you know, like, real games. Like, that doesn't feel like a game to me. Hopefully that's not what all games are going to end up being. There's going to be different things. Um, I'm hoping for Holodex. Just uh, cross my fingers. I want them to happen soon. You've play- and any of you played Heavy Rain? Yeah. I played the demo. I played it, yeah. Isn't it, like, I'm it's... The only one here that currently doesn't have a PS3. It's fun, but it's not, like, I, I, I own the game, but it's not, it's not 
It's it's a fun game, but it's not a game. Like it doesn't feel like I'm playing a game. Yeah, I know what you mean. But there are still games that are great. Arkham City is the best. Fantastic. But yeah, that really sucks that they're not going to have the same developers. Do any of you play the wrestling games? I used to. I played SmackDown 2 when I was low PlayStation 1 days. <laughs> WWE 12 is a good game. That's a really, really good game. Really good game. Yeah, because I'm seeing all my friends on PlayStation Network playing WWE 13. Yeah, WWE 13 is just pretty much the same game as 12 with just new storylines. Like, I'm not going to pay $60 for the same game. It's like the fucking Madden games. They're all the same. It's just new shit added. It's like... I don't know, but yeah, guys, let us know what you think of everything we talked about. That's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah. This was What Pisses Me Off 710, Goku 4871, SSJ, CJB992, Future Gohan SSJ2, and peace. And we'll see you next time, YouTube. Good night. Alright, that was good.